This is Twit. Apparently, uh, according to CounterPoint research, Wear OS had a surge in the last quarter, uh, thanks uh, to no small part, I believe, to the Galaxy Watch 4, uh, Samsung's latest what, wearable that came out a few months ago. Wear OS is up to 17% of smartwatch shipments in Q3. This is up from only 4% to the previous quarter. That's a pretty big jump uh, in, in one quarter anyways. Galaxy Watch 4 accounted for nearly 60% of smartwatch shipments in Q3, that's North America and Europe. And that's including, you know, any of the smartwatches, you know, uh, coming out of Apple. I think there was a delay on the Apple Watch, so that's probably, you know, part of these numbers. But uh, Samsung did overtake Huawei, which was second uh, for most shipments behind Apple from the previous quarter. So now Samsung is ahead. Uh, Watch 4, apparently a big deal for, for Samsung. It's done done well enough to make an impact on these numbers anyways. Um, but what does this say about the Wear 3.0? Because I think at this point, in the last few years, we've gotten so used to, um, you know, talk about throwing things under the bus. Where Wear as a whole, Wear OS has been thrown under the bus many, many times uh, for not just uh, not performing, uh, for not doing what it should as a wearable and for not really selling, for not moving devices. Is this a good sign for where we're at with Wear right now? Or is it just a good sign that for Samsung's latest wearable? What do you think, David? I think that the tail is wagging the dog here, which is Google <laughs> cut a deal with Samsung. It's going great for Google. Um, we'll see how it goes for Samsung a year from now when you know customers yeah. weigh in and whether or not they like the product. That That's really where we're going to find, I think, the, the proof here is in the long-term reception of this product and how it upgrades and you know what features Google and Samsung can add. Because there's no doubt in my mind that Samsung is still nowhere near on the level with Apple for a wearable experience. And Wear OS isn't there either. That's, that's mm -hmm. I think, that arguing otherwise is is difficult to even kind of like entertain it, it's uh, the market is very clearly skewed in apple's favor still so i think that this is good for wear os in terms of business motive for google google has skin in the game now they could lose samsung they have to keep them so i think that they're very motivated i think that's good mm-hmm and there's a little bit of proof. I mean, if the, if the numbers have increased, you know, that much in that period of time, that says something. Um, I think the longevity of any sort of progress is the real is the real question. You can have right. little wins and little hits here and there, but can you keep that yes. consistent? To consistently prove that Wear OS or Wear Three, whatever you want to call it, is going to actually move the needle for wearables. And it's, like you said, it's just too early to know that. And and right there, right there is the sound of Jason being skeptical, skeptical about Wear OS and Google's future with wearables. And I don't blame you, Jason. Jason, because if we have anything, we see how many stop starts do we see from Google? Oh, yeah, exactly. Just in wearables, but just in across the board with different products and things like that. And this this might be the latest scheme. And, and David, you're right. They need to keep Samsung happy. But Samsung's already proven that they don't need Google to do this stuff. So, right. I yeah. think that Samsung is taking a really calculated risk here, which is that Google is a techno technological partner they can stand on the shoulders of. Um, probably, I would guess, most of that's related to Assistant and smartphone data integration more than anything. Um, Samsung understands the value of that to consumers, especially in the North America and uh, European markets. So I think the other thing to remember is that most the overwhelming majority of people buying these Samsung smartwatches have no idea that Samsung has changed wearable platforms. They don't know. No. They don't care. <laughs> no, no, you're absolutely so right. It, it's really the second generation, Jason, like you said, it, that's going to be where we'll see. Like if people decide to keep going with that or if Wear OS becomes a negative connotation with Samsung's wearables, that's going to be where we, we really start to get some insight there.